I'm here with John Lloyd Young, um, Tony Award winner. Tell me about what brings you here tonight. Uh, why is this cause so dear to your heart? Uh, when I was on Broadway in Jersey Boys, I worked for Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. I moved out to Los Angeles about a year ago and um, wanted to continue my work with the AIDS uh, charity and uh, APLA is the biggest and best. And uh, we've become very good friends. I sang the, the, uh, the, the anthem of, their, of the AIDS walk last uh, a few months ago. And, um, and I'm basically continuing my work with, with them because it's a very critical time for any charity across this country right now. But what's so scary about, uh, about um, AIDS funding and, and, and the, the, the lack of funding right now is that, for example, in California, all of the funding for uh, AIDS prevention education has been completely obliterated. It's all gone. And then the funding for the sort of services that support people who are living with AIDS has been drastically reduced. So there's this critical, you know, this 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 challenge of educating people so that they don't get HIV in the first place. And then if they do, supporting the services that are already overextended. So um, I, I think right now, any anything that brings awareness to that shortfall in, in cash for those essential services that were really working and, and doing great work when things were chugging along. I think, you know, everybody has to tighten their belt because it's a very difficult time economically, but we can't really afford to lose critical funding for research and prevention of these, uh, of, you know, such a dangerous uh, virus. Um, and private companies like Macy's are taking up that slack. And private individuals can do it too. So, um, and, and, you know, I, I think that you know, being involved with APLA at, at this critical point is something I'm very proud of. So that people know that they that they can help. And sometimes you don't know where to, your charity dollars should go. And I think that the prevention of like one of the worst diseases ever is. It should be a top priority when people are thinking of their charitable giving at this point. And talk about some ways how the average Joe, the average American, can help out with the cause. Uh, what are some resources uh, that they can use? I mean, you can donate money and uh, go to you know in whatever your community, whatever the AIDS charities are in your community. Check out, check them out, talk to people, and find out where their shortfalls are. You do the most simple things like Meals for Wheels or uh, uh, Meals on Wheels, or like even just donating to food shelters that support people who are living with AIDS and you know can't get out of their homes because they're ill you know there are so many simple ways that you can give and, and contribute in your community and it's as simple as going online and doing a little bit of research but it's very it's a very very critical time um, and and hopefully you know everybody can contribute a little bit so that just because we're going through this this cycle in our economy of you know that we're in a recession that essential services don't get lost you know while we're while we're all experiencing difficulty thanks for your time and thanks for your contribution to such a great cause nice to meet you